Hey everybody. Here we're looking at one of seven desktop on Mitar Lux. You're thinking I, uh, you know, it's typical one of seven desktop. But there's a little something down there in the um, in the tray on the taskbar that's new. Some of you guys out there may recognize it. See that little bitty logo, that little Windows logo? He's thinking, what's the Windows 8 logo doing on my taskbar? That's actually the logo for Windows 10. It's a carryover from Windows 8. Um, yeah. Basically, a lot of people who have Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 may be seeing this icon just out of nowhere all of a sudden. And let's hover over it and see what it says. Get Windows 10. Thinking, oh great, Windows 10. How much I got to pay for that? So let's look and let me zoom out and no guys I'm not going to use a screen recorder for this I'm sorry how they look at this window here how to get Windows 10 for free you can reserve your copy of Windows 10 now It'll be, it will download by itself once available you can install it when you get a notification after July 29th that's the release date of Windows 10 and you can enjoy Windows 10 for free yep free so let's look at all the features it has. You know, familiar and easy. Designed for speed. Yeah, it is a relatively fast operating system. It does start faster than Windows 7. Amazing new features. Well, yeah, we got some new features, but there's some things that are going away. I'll come back to that in a moment. Games, entertainment, apps, and more. You know, I've you know I did a look at Windows 10 recently. Um, I just created a video yesterday of the most up-to-date build as of now and I'm pretty impressed with it but there is one thing that's lacking now for a lot of people this won't be a problem but for those out there who have home theater PCs yeah it will be a serious problem so I will not be clicking this reserve your free upgrade button at least on this machine nope won't be clicking this button on this computer won't be clicking it on the black max won't be clicking it on either of the TV boxes either and I'll come back to that in just a moment. Basically, um, if you haven't seen Windows 10 yet, I suggest that you actually, um, if you're a technician and want to try it out, you can install the Insider Preview on a third-party computer that you may have. And from my understand, Windows 10 will also be free for those installs as well. You can just go ahead and upgrade to the RTM install and not have to worry about wiping your computer and things like that. But let's say if you have not looked into Windows 10 yet and you decide you want to consider upgrading to it just keep in mind of one thing while it may be easy to upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 7 or 8.1 if you decide that hey I not I don't really care too much for this or I don't have Windows Media Center it's not gonna be easy to go back you'll more than likely have to wipe your, com your computer and do a clean install of Windows 7 using a Windows 7 DVD a Windows 8 DVD you know, for Windows 8 installs or your OEM recovery media. Now with, and with Windows 8 installs, it can be a lot more tricky because finding the product key is really difficult. So anyways, you want to make sure that you are, you want to take a good look at Windows 10 and see what it offers before you commit to upgrade to the OS. I mean, f even if even when it's free, it's maybe it's not such a good idea always. So um, I will not be clicking this reserve your free upgrade button. So for you guys who particularly you have one of seven and you say no I don't want to upgrade to this let me show you how to get that pesky little icon off the screen now some people may even refer to this little icon you know this reserve you know this get when it's 10 app as like adware no it's not adware it's not malicious in any way and no it should not automatically download and install when it's 10 on your computer it's just a tool that allows you to click the button and reserve your free upgrade. So let's go ahead and close this out. And if you don't want this upgrade, you know this this um, this one is updating still on your machine. Let me show you how to uninstall it, which I'll definitely be doing on this machine. I personally, you know, in, you know, in regards to 
you know, one to seven versus one to ten, I would actually prefer one to seven because that's what I'm used to. And of course, I have one as media center. I also prefer one to seven start menu. Yeah, one to ten start menu does look nice, but I do like the one to seven start menu better. Now, there's probably a way that I could actually install um, something like Start 8 or something like that on Windows 10, it may still function. So, anyways, what I did here is I went into the Start menu, clicked on Control Panel, and now I'm going to choose View Install Updates. And let me move this camera just a little bit. And we're going to search for the following update. KB3035583 and it's already got it right there. Right click and choose uninstall. Yes we want to uninstall the update. This might take a few minutes. So yeah I probably should reserve my talking for now. <laughs> of course. And I'm going to restart the computer. So yes, um, if you're running Windows 8.1 and you have no use for Windows Media Center, sure, go ahead and do the upgrade. And if you're on Windows 7 you don't use Media Center and you do happen to like the features of Windows 10, which there are some nice features in Windows 10, yes, definitely do the upgrade. You can easily upgrade to a newer, newer version with just a few clicks nowadays. But going back generally requires you to back up your data and programs and do a fresh install. So, you know, if you decide to do the upgrade, I would suggest, if possible, which, you know, 1 to 7, it is easily possible, to do a system image of your machine, do a backup of your whole hard drive. So that way, if you decide you want to go back to 1 to 7, just the way everything was, you can easily do it. And it's going to do a couple of update things here. Shouldn't take too long. Now the speed of this depends on the computer. Okay. Here we are. And let's have a look at the taskbar. Hey look it's gone. No more Windows 10 icon. Okay so now you have the update uninstalled. Here's how you can prevent it from coming back. So we go to Start and then Control Panel. Windows Update. And we're going to do a check for updates. So while this is running, let me show you guys one thing. So basically, if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 and you use this, like I do, I would suggest uninstalling the update because obviously once you upgrade to Windows 10 you're going to lose this. And if you're a person like me who uses it for digital cable playback where there's no, there's no alternative for PC, it wouldn't be very nice once you upgrade to Windows 10 and find that you lost Windows Media Center. Trust me. So we're going to let this finish checking for updates and we'll go from there. And there is that one update. There it is, KB3035583. And this is why this update is so controversial. Look at the description. It tells you it's an update for 107, and it tells you it's KB number. Is this a recommended update? Install this update to resolve issues in Windows. Yeah, like that really tells me a whole lot. Now, of course, you can look up the KB number online like it suggests, but if you look in here in Windows Update, it does not specify that this update is a Windows 10, is the Get Windows 10 app. That's why a lot of people have controversial opinions on this update. It's kind of like Microsoft being a snake in the grass. Now it doesn't check it by default, but I've heard that automatic update will install it. So if you have your Windows Update set to automatic, yes it will get installed. So. 
let's go ahead and hide the update. So now, let's go back. The update is now hidden. Now let's say if you change your mind in the future, and say, hey, I do want to go ahead and install this update. All you gotta do is go into Restore Hidden Updates. And there are all the updates that are hidden. So this is this is the particular update. Now, um, at least in here, it still says recommended, but um, used to be it was actually a little different. So, anyways, if you decide you want to restore it, you can just check it, and then click restore at the bottom of the window. But I'm not going to restore this update because just like my, you know, in my situation, and maybe yours too. If you're a one of seven or one is a porn user that uses this, there's no reason for that update to be installed on your machine. Why have something nagging? You know, why have an extra icon on your taskbar saying "Get one is ten or more or less lose features? You know, because in my in my case, you know, I've been using Windows Media Center for the past seven years. I've been using it to watch and record live TV shows and for the past about two years or so it's been digital cable via cable card something that only Windows Media Center supports on the PC all those free alternatives out there like Plex and all that no they don't support it they can't because it's because Media Center is the only one that's certified by cable labs to do such a thing so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this half and half between a rant and a tutorial and a question or comments Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.